What's up Sickle Cell Warriors, it's Dr. O and the grind never stops. Alright, today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics in the world, music. I love music so much and I want to talk to you guys about three things in regards to Sickle Cell music. Today we're going to talk about famous musicians who had Sickle Cell. We're also going to talk about how music actually helps people with Sickle Cell. And then third, and then we're going to talk about how music has helped me cope with Sickle Cell. Alright Sickle Cell Warriors, thank God for music. If it wasn't for music, I don't know how great life would be without music. You know, I feel like music really enhances the emotions in our life and just makes life a lot more enjoyable. Here are famous musicians with Sickle Cell that I'm not sure you guys may have known who has Sickle Cell, but they actually do. The first person with Sickle Cell is Prodigy and uh, rest in peace to him. Let's dedicate five seconds in silence for him. Man, Prodigy was a great man, and um, a lot of people know him for being a part of Mob Deep, but he was also a strong advocate for the sickle cell community, and I appreciate all the work he did. And in the future, I plan on making a whole video dedicated to Prodigy and how he impacted the sickle cell community and how he was able to cope with it. The next famous person with Sickle Cell is also another rapper who is very talented and I love this dude. His name is Sean Sloan. I always listen to his music because whenever I listen to his music, oh man, you can tell he, he understands how what it means to have Sickle Cell. Like you can feel the pain in his music. And so Sean Sloan, super gifted, talented rapper. Definitely recommend listening to him. Third person is T-Boss from TLC and you know, y'all know TLC, a uh, very talented group of female singers. Go check her out if you enjoy female R&B and you know, good music. <laughs> and then lastly, Miles Davis, one of the greatest jazz musicians of all times. He too has to go sell. Now, how does music help people with sickle cell? Man, music is an extremely underrated way to alleviate chronic pain, especially for people with sickle cell. And I don't think a lot of people know this, but music really helps relieve pain because what it does is it distracts the brain from those who are about to have a sickle cell crisis. And so music is really good for the soul and it's helped not just people with sickle cell, but people with all types of chronic conditions. There are actually several studies of how music helps people with sickle cell. And like I previously mentioned, it pretty much helps you by calming you down and reducing the stress in your body. One of the most common factors of sickle cell pain is stress. But by constantly listening to music, you're always de-stressing your body, which allows the blood flow in you to move more smoothly and hence decrease the chances of you having a sickle cell crisis. How does music help me? Man, if you know me personally, I love music. I listen to music several hours a day and that's, not, that's no cap. I love music so much that I even have a music blog page on Instagram. I'm going to show it right here. Please show some love. It's actually almost at 10,000 followers. So if you can show some love, that would be great. And I also recently created a music for inspiration YouTube channel, which I'm also going to put in the description below. So if you guys are interested in music and you love being inspired, please check those links down below. I, it's really good content. There's so many reasons why I love music, but in regards to sickle cell, I think there's a huge reason for why I listen to music a lot subconsciously. And I didn't really understand this until my mid twenties, younger twenties, where my doctor explained to me how music can really help you with sickle cell. But pretty much whenever I listen to music, 
I rarely feel any pain. Like, I, every time I listen to music, I don't feel a tint of sickle cell pain. And so whenever I'm listening to music, I feel like I'm in a safe haven where like it's, it's just taking away all the potential to have a sickle cell crisis. And then if I ever am feeling sickle cell pain, you know, you know sickle cell warriors, we all have some type of like sickle cell pain episode routine. And one of my routines is listening to music. If I'm ever feeling pain, for some reason, whenever I listen to music, especially like common like R&B music or maybe like jazz music or just music for sanity, it always alleviates the pain before it gets really bad. So I'm going to make a future video of what my pain episode routine is and go fully in depth with it. But music definitely plays a huge role in that. So yeah, sick of Star Wars, I love music. Music has changed my life for the better. I, I actually have a lot of goals with my Music for Inspiration brand. And I actually hope to someday in the future intertwine sickle cell and music. One of my goals in the future is to conduct a, stu a study between sickle cell and music. And I want to create, have like a research grant that dedicates studying the relationship between music and sickle cell. And basically I want to be able to prove that music can be a legitimate way to alleviate pain with sickle cell and pretty much spread the awareness of how effective music can be for people with sickle cell and not just sickle cell, people suffering from chronic pain, you know? So people with diabetes or, or people suffering from cancer. Music is a universal thing and it can help not just people with sickle cell. So I really want to help conduct studies for that and hopefully use that information to, to help sickle cell warriors. Anyway, sickle cell warriors, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you all. If you like this content, please subscribe. Show Dr. O some love. And once again, thank you for blessing me.